Hello guys and welcome back to another Neko Kawai unboxing video. Today we have a new box that this is the first box I've gotten of it. It's also its first release box in general. I think it just launched uh, last month or maybe the beginning of this month. And this box is called 30 Days of Candy. You get uh, this month's theme is 30 pieces of candy from all around the world. So I get 30 different types of candy from 30 different countries all around the world. This box is uh, $29.99. I can't remember off the top of my head if you get shipping free, but I believe you do. Either that or there's a code where you can get your first box shipping free. Uh, when I find that out, I will include it below, so if you're interested after watching this video, check that out. And I'm really excited to see which types of candy I got. Oop. And there's all the different languages that I think they mean candy. This is candy in English there, so... All of this says candy, and look, there's candy written in Japanese, caramel, Sanskrit, Korean, French, um, German, a lot of these languages I wouldn't recognize, of course. Okay, let's see. I get, you get a very long banner that's the same size of the box. And it says around the world in 30 sweets. This month's theme is around the world in 30 sweets. 30 candies from 30 countries. And you can see the outline of many places like, um, that kind of looks like maybe one of those, um, Ar Arabic castles in like Saudi Arabia. See like the Eiffel Tower from France. Uh, this Rome Stadium, I believe. There's, um, what's, uh, God, I can just think about, um, Jesus wanting a hug from Helsing Abridged. I can't remember exactly where this is. Um, I can't remember. Oh, and there's Big Ben from London. In the back of this says... It says... If this is a one-time gift for you, please enjoy. However, if you're one of our monthly subscribers, your next sweet adventure is... From Durian to Triacle and Ramene to Sassafras. 30 candies with delicious, albite, unusual flavors. So, I guess these are like samples of the flavors that I could get. I don't really recognize a whole lot. That like that kind of looks like a pickle. That kind of looks like alcohol. Some very weird looking fruits. Pancake. Ramenade. Um, red peppers. Kind of looks like a peanut. I like um, this box's idea, so I think that I will be getting um, next month's box as well, because I'm really enjoying this whole idea. Now, there are 30 different pieces of candy in here. I'm going to try to make this video at least 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not going to read everything it says. I'm going to mainly tell you the name of the candy and where it's from. So I hope that's okay with everybody. It uh, looks like I got a free little Pez in this box. So like it has a mini on it. That's kind of cute. Okay, and the first candy in here is from Russia. It is called Red October. And this is what it looks like. 
It's got like big fluffy bears on it. Um, let's see. This is milk chocolate almond praline wafers. This is that they use a lot more cocoa, so it's more grittier than regular chocolate. It's kind of weird. The next thing in here is Malaysia, and they are called Okio. It looks like I get four different flavors. Oh, and I like that um, instead of just giving us one, they give us many. At least two. Although it looks like most of these have at least three or more. So that's that's another bonus thing to look about. Because I'm sharing most of these candies with three people, so getting at least three or more is what I really like to see in most of my boxes. The flavors this one has is mango, grape, orange, and strawberry. Oh, they're really soft. Oh, they're so soft. Can't wait to try those. The next one in here is South Korea. And these are from the Daylight Confectionery Company. Um, doesn't really say what they're called, but oh, it looks like I get sort of three different kinds of candy in this one. And like there are different wrappers, so they're like not from the same bag of candy. And I mean, they could be from the same bag of candy, but there are four different wrappers, so that's intriguing. I wish I knew what they were called, but these are from South Korea. And the next one is France. These are Jordan almonds. They're called Mason Pickle. Hmm. As you can see, these are actually, there are a lot more than just two or three. Oh, and these have little quotes, but I mean, if I can't see it, I'm not going to really open it. But this one says, prejudices are what fools use for reason. If you think about that, that's a very wise quote. The next one in here is Colombia. They're called Colombina. They are chocolate filled caramels. This is what they look like. Little light brown and dark brown packages. I really like caramel, so I think these are going to be pretty good. And the quote says, Poverty does not destroy virtue, nor wealth bestow. Bestow it. Hmm. I'm going to run out of space soon. I'll just move it back a little. Move these up. Move this a little more over to... There, this video is going to probably be close to 20 minutes. And I apologize for that. But I would really like to show off every little package. Oop. Look, it's my native USA. And in this we get something called Bite Oh Honey. These look familiar. I probably had these before. They're definitely not really something I would buy regularly. But I mean, it's, it is kind of cool that I got something that I don't normally get here. Even if it is from the USA. 
so that's cool. The next one is China. And these are little, oh, they're milk candies. I believe I've had something like this before from a convention, like Acon or Anime Fest. They look so cute. They, they're called White Rabbit, and they're like milk chewable candies. They look really cute. The next one in here is Spain. Oh, they're Chula Pops. I didn't know that's where the Chula Pops came from. I see these all the time in the grocery store or even at the dollar store. And I got five. That's pretty big, too. Fun fact, while the name comes from the Spanish verb chupar, meaning to suck, the logo was designed by Spaniard Salvador Dali. That's pretty cool. Is that him up there? That's probably Eric Burnett, the creator of Chula Pops. That's pretty cool. Put that right over there. The next one I see in here is Thailand. They are called Kopiko. They are best selling coffee candy. Four or five pieces is equivalent to the caffeine content of a normal cup of coffee. Oh wow. So I have an actual cup of coffee's worth of caffeine here. I'm not a big fan of coffee flavored things, but I'm still interested all the same. I'm gonna put that right there. The next one I see is Austria. Oh yeah, this one is the Pez. I wasn't aware Pez came from Austria. Let's see, the famous Pez dispenser wasn't introduced until 1949 and was originally designed to look like a cigarette lighter to encourage people to have a mint instead of a smoke. So an anti-smoking sort of propaganda thingy made to look like a candy. So. Oh, the bonus this one sparked, uh, we included a Disney character Pez thingy, it says. Fun fact, the word Pez comes from the first, middle, and last letter in Pfefferments, the German word for peppermint. That's cool. So I have, like, reloads for this Pez dispenser here. That's pretty cool. The next thing here is, I'm trying to speed this up a little, is from the Ukraine. They are called Roshan. They are jelly filled gummies. Here's what they look like. Looks like they got a cute little bee on them. And it looks like it comes in all sorts of flavors cherry, orange, strawberry, lemon, pink grapefruit, and cranberry. That's good. The next one in here I see is Hong Kong. These are, oh, these are the Lucky Candies. They usually give these around for the, the New Year. So, Chinese New Year call candy. They are strawberry flavor with a hard outer shell and a soft taffy center. Mmm, that sounds really good. I can't wait to try those. The next one in here is from Germany. They are, um... Fruit Basket Taffies. 
Oh. The packages have like the fruits on the end, like I see one that has apples on it, one that has like strawberries, one that has cherries on it. That one's gonna be good. I like, I really like uh, fruity things, especially new things that I haven't really tried before. The next thing in here is Sweden. They are called Dime. Dime is a crunchy almond butter toffee bar covered in milk chocolate. Mmm. Yay, I get three of them. So me, my brother, and my friend Devin all get one apiece. That's pretty good. The next one in here is... Poland. They are called... Mm, Kros Kroki. They are... Cream fudge... Filled little... Chocolates? I think. Oh, and there are three of them. A white one, a yellow one, and a red one. They are also pretty big, kind of like the Chula Pops. Like they jut out in comparison to most of the other candy. I'm going to quickly put that to the side. The next one in here I see is Morocco. And they are called Fresh. Or Fresh. They look like M&M's. They are the Moroccan version of Mentos. Certainly fall into this category. The white ones have a chewy mint center and the colored ones have a chewy fruit center. And they come in these little packages. Let's say f fresh on them. Spelled F R E S C H. Put that to the side. Moving on to the next one. The next one is Indonesia, and they are called milk tea or milkita. This is another milk flavored sort of fruit candy type thing. This is, this is, Milkita is the number one candy in Ind Indonesia. Oh, they look so cute. Milkshake candy strawberry. Milkshake candy chocolate. Milkshake candy melon. Uh, I think the other ones are just doubles of those. That sounds really good. The next one is... Italy. And they are called Spitchy. They are mm, they are fruit chews that come in lemon, orange, and tangerine. And here they are, the little fruit packets. We are coming up on almost 19 minutes. I'm sorry that this video is getting so long. There are two more rows left. But there are 30 packets. I just really would like to show you what I'm getting. To see, to show, to see if y'all are interested as well. The next one is Singapore. Uh, Meiji is a well-known Japanese confectionery company started in 1916. Let's see, let's see, let's... Uh, the Hello Pandy line is export... For the export market is manufactured in Singapore. That's why this one is Singapore, because the factory is in Singapore. That's kind of weird. Although I've had the Meiji Pandas before, so... That's nothing new. Next one is... Taiwan. These are Hai Chus the normal high chews, so I won't focus on that. Um, 
Japan. Of course, Japan. We have the matcha green cats that I've had before, of course, numerous times. So, not going to focus on that too long. I'm going to get to the next one. Sixlets. Oh, I love sixlets. This is Canada. I had no idea sixlets came from Canada. I used to eat these all the time when I was a kid. I like I just go into the store and be like, Mom, can I have some sicklets? And she's just like, Okay, go ahead and get some. I have four little packages. They used to make them like like combine all four rows of these and that would be what they sold in the grocery store. Now that's pretty cool. I didn't know that they came from Canada, so that's a fun fact I've learned today. The next thing in here is Ireland. They are jelly beans. Oh, I can see the quote, so I'll read it. This is, be yourself, everyone else is already taken. I really like that quote. It's similar to one that I always used to say in high school, which is like, be yourself or be no one at all. So I really, I can really get behind that saying, because that's what I used to to say as well. The next one is turkey. They are the Haribo gummies. Hmm. I wonder why, let's see, American market including these minis in their factory in Turkey. Ah, so the factories in Turkey. I got three little mini packets. They look squished. <laughs> but that's fine. They're gummies. So it's not like they're going to melt or if getting squished would really cause a problem for them. I'm out of room again. <laughs> Keep these back again a little more. We have one more row left after this. The next one is Norway. And these are licorice caramels. Oh wow, they are really dark. They look thick too. And the quote is, A small but excellent party, said the man drinking alone. Hmm. That's kind of a lonesome quote. The next one in here is Argentina, and they are called Arcor. They are taffies. Fun fact, Arcor gets its name from the city and provenance where the company was founded, Arito Cordoba. Various fruit flavors. And it looks like apple and banana and orange and I don't know if the green one is green apple. Okay. I was going to say melon but it didn't really look like a watermelon. Okay, the... I'm going to pull a couple of these out actually. And then we'll go down the line. Okay. The next one is from Belgium. They are called Napoleon. They are Napoleon bonbons with the clever French slogan Le Bon Bonbon. <laughs> Date all the way back to 1912. Hmm. Let's see. A rival confectioner had just created a truffle and named it Caesar. So Lewis, not to be outdone, famously proca proclaimed, then I will call mine Napoleon. <laughs> That's clever. This is what they look like. They're pretty round. They kind of look like they got mailman on them. <laughs> Not really. Oh, no, wait. Yes, they got Napoleon on them. Okay. Even more clever. The 
next one is England. They are English creamy toffee candies. They are from the English finest toffee walkers non such. Um, crowned as the pa the palace of all palaces for its exquisite splendor and because there was none such like it a play on its name <laughs> then you get these little candies there are three and it says, every cloud has a silver lining. I've heard that one before. There are two more left. The next one is Finland. And they are called Fuzzin. Both have a hard peppermint shell. While the blue has a creamy caramel center and the red has a creamy chocolate center. Mmm, that sounds good. And there are five of them. Let's see, this one's quote is, Even a small star shines in the dark. Old Finnish proverb. The last one, but most certainly not least, is the Netherlands. This is called Perfetti Von Meal. Let's see. These are eggnog toffees based on the famous creamy Dutch drink Advocat. They're slipping out of my hand. Here's what they look like. They look vaguely familiar. And the background kind of looks like, yes, that is indeed a Van Gogh painting. Now I have to read the quote. Its quote, quote is, I would rather die of passion than of boredom. This sounds so like something Van Gogh would definitely say considering most people thought he was crazy. Okay, well this video is nearly, it's probably going to be over 30 minutes. And again, I really apologize for that, but again, I wanted to show everything off to show future buyers what they might want to get. And if you, maybe if you've had more of these than I have, there were only like four or five that I recognized out of 30 and that's um <clears throat> and that's fine with me because there's more that I did not recognize than did not so gonna swivel around show them off one more time there's the Pez mine is a mini if I didn't say that already Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing video. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day.